Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In today's video, I will show you this really nice quadcopter drone. This one I have here is made by the company Drocon, and this is their Bugs 3. Now, one feature that's nice about this drone is it has a camera mount built in. So you can install your own action camera like a GoPro or SJ Cam and capture some amazing video footage. And I think this option is much better than using the standard onboard camera. And in many cases, those onboard cameras don't have very good video recording. Another feature this quadcopter has is it uses brushless motors. And if you're shopping for a drone, definitely go with one that has brushless motor. The reason for that is because they don't overheat, they last a lot longer compared to the brush type, and you also get longer flight time. Now with this one I have here, it'll fly anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. It has a range of 300 to 500 meters and has two-way communication between the drone and your controller. So let's open this up and I'll show you what the Bugs 3 look like. So here we have the Bugs 3 drone. This is the AC charger. This is the camera mounts. Here we have two sets of propeller. So one is a spare. Here is the propeller guard, landing gear, tools, 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hour, rechargeable battery. At the bottom we have the controller. Here's a look at all the parts. When you're installing the propellers, make sure you pay attention to the marking that's on the propeller. Right here there's a marking for B and this one is marked A and you want to follow the instructions in the manual. The A gets installed over here and here and the B propeller gets installed over here and here. Also the installation procedure is different between the A and the B. The B gets installed by turning it clockwise and the A gets installed by turning it counterclockwise. You need to use this wrench that's included to hold the top part of this motor so it won't turn and while you're holding this down, install the propeller. Once it's tight, stop. To install the propeller guard, turn the drone upside down and then remove the two screws at each corner. Take one of the guard and place it at the corner right here and then we'll reinstall the two screws. Now repeat the same thing for the three other corners. Now install the four landing gears. They're placed in this position right here. Use the included screws and secure it. After you fully charge the battery, you install the battery into the slot right here. Here's a look at the camera mount. To open this up, there's a latch right here. Release the latch. This opens up. You can put your action camera in here and lock it back in. To install the camera mount onto the drone, place this flat end right here into this slot and slide this down. And then there's a rotating knob. Turn this and make sure it's in this position. As for the camera, I'll be using this Hawkeye Firefly AS action camera I reviewed recently. This is an awesome camera. It records in 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 120 frames per second. The camera lens has a viewing angle of 170 degrees and this action camera uses a 6 axis gyro for video stabilization. So the camera gives a very smooth video recording. For the controller, you do need to install the left and right stick. And inside this bag, we have the stick and the screws. This controller uses four AA batteries. To install the batteries, turn it around. And there is a Phillips screw that you need to remove. Let me go over the functions of this remote control. In the middle we have the on off button. The left stick here is for the throttle. So if you push this up, it will increase the speed of the propeller and it will make the drone go up. 
bring it back down and it will make the drone come down. Now you can also turn the stick left or right and when you do that you actually rotate the drone left or right. Below the left stick this is a trim for your left and right so if you need to do some fine adjustment for the left and right you can use this trim right here. The right stick will control the direction of the drone so if you move it forward it will move the drone forward. If you pull it back it will make the drone go backward. If you move to the left it will make the drone fly towards the left direction and if you move it to the right it will make the drone fly towards the right direction. Next to the stick we have the trim for both the forward and backward and left and right movement. At the top we have a couple of buttons here. This white button here is to change the high and low speed. This red button is used to do the initial connection between the controller and the drone. Over here on the right, this top button right here is used for 3D flips. The bottom button can be used as a shutter button for the camera that you can buy from Drocon. So let me show you how to set up the initial connection between the drone and the remote control. What you want to do is press the red button at the top right here and while holding down that button, turn on the remote control. Next we'll connect the power to the drone. Now the connection is established. Next thing we'll do is calibrate the drone. Pull both sticks to the lower right. And now you see the light will stop flashing. Now this signal connection procedure is only needed if the remote control has never been connected to the drone. Once you've done this once, you do not need to do it again. To begin flying the drone, you first need to unlock it. Right now, by push on the throttle, nothing happens. So to unlock it, press the red button. Now the propeller will spin slowly. If I increase the throttle. Now if you want to lock the drone again, press the red button for a couple of seconds. Now it's locked. First turn on the power on the remote control. Next we'll connect the battery. Now we'll press the red button. Now you're ready to fly. As you can see, this Bugs 3 drone flies very smoothly, very stable. The control I have on this quadcopter is very good. I really enjoy flying this drone. It's very easy to control. To do the flip, press the flip button while holding that down. You can turn in any direction and it'll flip in that direction.
Well, I hope you enjoy watching this review of the Bugs 3 quadcopter drone. The flight is very stable and with the brushless motor, this thing has great performance. You can gain altitude very quickly and you can maneuver this thing in any direction very fast. I also like the fact that this drone has a detachable action camera mount. You can quickly and easily mount your favorite action camera onto the drone and get some amazing video footage. Now I got this Bugs 3 drone on Amazon, so if you want to check it out, just follow the link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.